we have to write an HTML program for creating a table as shown. In the first row, we have weather. In the second row, we have city and temperature. And in the remaining rows, we have a number of cities and its corresponding temperature. And there is a caption below of the table, like weather details of major Indian cities in the month of March 2020. So we need to design a web page by using HTML tags for creating a table as shown. So the first two rows, we have table heading. So we can create the table by using table tag in HTML. So we are writing tags inside the body section. The table can be created by using table tag in HTML. Table tag can be used for creating a table structure. So we have mentioned the border as one. If you don't mention the border attribute, by default, it will not show the border for table. Each row table is a container tag. Now each row can be created inside a table by using tr tag. So we have mentioned tr, first tr. In the first table row, we have only one column. So we have created a column heading, which is th. Th is for creating the table heading. And that is going to span on two different columns because you can see weather is spanning on two columns. There is only one column belongs to that row. So that's why we have mentioned as call span as two. So it will span into two columns. Next, we are creating the next second row. Again, TR tag we have created. Inside that, there is two TH tag because we have two column. One is a city, another one is temperature. So TR tag can be used to create table row and TH tag can be used to create table heading. So in total, now we have created two table row. In the first table row, we have only one column that span on two columns. And in the second row, we have two column headings, city and temperature. Now we are creating the third row by using TR tag. And the data in the table row can be added by using TD table data, TD tag. So we are adding the data into the table that can be used to add columns in each of the row. So in the third row, similarly, we want for every remaining rows, we want two, two columns. So in the first column, we are mentioning the name of the city. Like first we mentioned Mumbai. And in the second column, we are mentioning its temperature as 30. Similarly, we are adding the data for the remaining rows, each of the column, first column as the city name and the second column as the temperature. So we included the city, Delhi, Kolkata and Chennai and its corresponding temperature as 42, 40 and 35. Now we can see what output we are getting by creating a table like this. So we are getting the output in this format. Now we, in order to get the output as we want, as we decide, we have to include the cascading style sheet commands. So we can change the features. So before that, we are adding the caption to our table. So caption to a table can be added by including caption tag inside the table tag. So inside the table tag, we are mentioning the caption as weather details of major Indian cities, weather details of major Indian cities in the month of March. 2020 this text is included inside the caption so the caption will come to a table by default the caption will come on top of the table so we want it to be at the bottom of the table so we have to change the align attribute align attribute of the caption tag and the value we mentioned for align as bottom so the caption will go to the bottom of the table uh, we have given the heading for this title for this particular page as table example and we are changing now features of the table by using style tag. We included uh, internal style. So style tag is written inside the head section. We are first changing the HTML element table properties. 
So various properties can be changed by mentioning the property name and its corresponding value. Now first we are changing border spacing. So border spacing will change the space between the table border and the cell border. We can increase the space between the table border and the cell border by using border spacing, border spacing parameter of table tag. So we can see when we have increased from 10 to 20, it increases the space between the, the border of the table and the cell border. So we made the border spacing for the table as 10 pixel. Now we are changing the features of table heading and table data, all the columns. First, we have to make the alignment of the content. For all the TH and TD, we, makes the, we make the text align property as center. For both the tag TH and TD, text align property as center and vertical aligned. The content should be vertically aligned at the middle of the cell. We are making uniformity for all the cells, width and height. So width, we made it as 200 pixel and height we made it as 40 pixel. So while we are writing every property and its value, we need to separate it by using a colon symbol. So text align colon center, vertical align colon center. So property colon its value. So width is made it as 200 pixel, height as 40 pixel. Now padding, padding can be used to increase the space between the content and its cell border. So here we made the padding as five pixel. So there will be five pixel space from top and uh, bottom of the cell towards the content. We can change the width and height and padding value as required. So when we are increasing the width of the cell, it automatically increases the table size. We can see that it is increasing. Similarly, we can change the height of the table. Also the padding space. The padding space is used to increase the space between the content and its cell border. Whereas the border spacing of the table is used to change the space between the border of the table and the cell border. We can see when we change the width and height, automatically the tables get the table cell will get changed. See here we have used the border spacing as 10 pixel that is used to increase the space between the table border and the cell border. If you made it as 20, it will increase more space between the table border and the cell border. So border spacing property of table tag can be used to increase or decrease the space between the border of the table and the cell border and the padding property of th and td can be used to increase the space between the cell border and the content now five pixel is between the space between its cell border and the content from all the side now we uh, the width is more so from le le left and right there is more space but from the top and bottom there will be as the padding is mentioned. So we made padding as 20 pixels, so it will increase the space between the content and the text alignment may weight it as left. So from all the place, we have 20 pixel distance from left, top and bottom. The cell border and the content, the distance is 20 pixel. So padding property of TH and TD tag can be used for increasing the space between the content and the cell border. In each of the table row, we can also change different colors to the table row or we can even change the colors background color of the table by using cascading style sheet. Change the colors of the table, background and uh, different rows and mention the cascading, cascading style sheet uh, commands 
what is required in the comment section.